I am so glad it was not as hot today. It's cool enough to walk around outside, in fact. Around 70, 75 degrees or so. Fahrenheit. Stray is best experience with the gamepad. Unfortunately for Stray, we are going to be doing keyboard and mouse as we do every other game. Let's see how bad the lag is with my character. Ooh, that's crispy. Mm, that's very crispy. I'm not even sure if this is worth the effort trying to play this with my 3D model. I guess we'll attempt. Other VTubers have similarly attempted to play this with their 3D models, with varying degrees of success. Graphics. Blocked the max frame rate at 60 FPS. What if we drop it down to 30 for a nice cinematic experience, chat? Wow. There's already an immediate change. Like, an immediate change. If this is 30 FPS, that's fairly good. I can't really even tell. For those of you just joining us tonight, welcome to Monster Monday, or rather, I should say Meow Monday. We are playing Stray. It's not usual. The last time I picked up a game that just happened to be trending in the VTube community was... Um, I don't even fucking remember the name of it. It was an MMO. I played for like an hour, or like a single session. Got bored of it, uninstalled it, and never went back. This game is apparently not very long, maybe around 5 hours if you were just going straight through it. I doubt I'm going to be able to finish it that quickly, because as you know, I do like to check every single thing in the game. And I really like exploration games, especially games like this. I don't know much of what to expect because I have watched someone play this before, but only for a few hours and they didn't get very far. My understanding, but so we're gonna see how far we can get in this game. We're going to see what we can learn, what we can explore. This has been described as a cyberpunk game, cyberpunk genre. I can believe it. There is quite a bit of uh, science fiction elements going here, a lot of dystopia, a lot of uh, far future stuff, but at the same time, I got the impression that a lot of it is near future stuff because there's a lot of things in here that would have been relevant or commonplace in the real world in maybe around 80s or 90s so maybe more like maybe it's not even alternate future or maybe it's not even far future maybe it's just you know alternate modern day who knows so we are gonna go ahead and get started chat <laughs> three save slots uh-oh Oh no. I've become a PowerPoint presentation. We'll see if this is salvage if this uh if this is salvageable. Even with 30 FPS I can already see that the game cutscene is decent. GPU is not running that hot. Oh, I just remembered, I should probably max out the performance of my liquid cooler, just in case. We really don't want the CPU to overheat again. That would be a no bueno, chat. Uh, let me see here if I can access that really quick. Let me check the... Graphs here on my CPU. CPU temperature is keeping it around the 60s, so not too bad. CPU usage is tap maxing out though. That's not good. Not as bad as uh, with some other games though. It is uh, within uh, stable parameters so far. But we do not want to take any chances, chat. No chances. I'm thinking about exiting out of Discord to see if I could save some resources. I guess it's worth a shot, right? Oh, 
Oh man, I'm feeling it. CPU is running at 100%. No bueno. We really need to find a way to deal with this. It's it's not it's not good. This need this is not good. I'm not sure how much more life I have out of this out of this rig. It's definitely time to upgrade the MOBO and the CPU. Seven years old. Sure lasted a quite a bit of time. I love this computer. Built with my own two hands around back in 2015. We're shutting down Discord. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Chat shutting down Discord has regained given me back up to nine percent of my CPU. <laughs> That's just fucking funny, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder what will happen if I were to shut down Google Games as well. Should I go ahead and shut down my antivirus service? Mm. I think it's safe to do that for right now. Could always turn it back on. Uh, okay, we'll leave that off for now. Yeah. This is a start. Well. It's actually done a lot. The FP the frame rate in game is decent. The frame rate of my model has improved some. Not too much, but my uh, lip syncing is far better as it is. Let's go talk to these cats, shall we? And play with them a little bit. This uh, black cat over here is not amused with my antics. Now he is. Now they are. Now they are. It's gonna be a nice little looky lick. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go talk to this one over here now. Having a little fisticuffs with this little, little, with this little cuser. Man, I wish I wasn't allergic to kitties. Like, violently allergic. tell which cat I'm closest to. It's clearly the, um, it's clearly the, uh, one with the spots. I don't know what the term is for that, but. Dang, a red moon? That's not ominous at all. <laughs> I'll go to bed with the rest of my kitty friends and my kitty family. We'll see what tomorrow brings, yeah? Hmm? So adorable. So precious. So, 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 so precious. And a monarch butterfly. On top of that, a monarch butterfly. Beautiful sky. I got some birds over there too. Inside the wall, using this strange uh, riding system they got going on here. This game was fairly cheap too, for a new release, thirty bucks. Part of the reason why I didn't mind purchasing it. 
money's kind of tight right now. Even with all those subs I got the other day, which I'm saving strictly for upgrading my aging computer. Alright, Mouse and City seems okay. So wait, um, is this implying that I'm the leader? Is that what's going on here? Really feels like my computer may be strong. Oh, what? Well, well, well. Now, now, now. Those are some very sexy water physics. He even has a little paw print something. Like that. Very beautiful. All of my for all of my uh, my CPU is probably burning itself. Just ro just animating these freaking. <laughs> this is the purpose of purchasing a 3080 chat. So we could have these hyper-realistic water physics. Got a tree here to scratch the shit out of, marking our territory. So we will remember where we've been. Where's the black cat? There you are. Man, this place sure is pretty, isn't it, Chip? Hmm? Drinking some water here from the spring. Rainwater. Can't get any healthier than that. I'm assuming that's how you refill health or something in this game. It's almost hyper, it almost looks hyper realistic at times, honestly. And you get the licky licks from the other cat. It's quite obvious that this cat, um, my cat, has some sort of affection, has some sort of, has something going on with. Because they didn't have that kind of affection with the other kittens. Man, this my mouse movements are very sensitive. I'm gonna reduce my uh, sensitivity on my mouse a little bit more so I can have better control. What are we going guy going on over here? Hmm. Can we jump up there? No. Interesting. These cans don't seem to have anything of value on them, and I can't open this door. There's no time limit, so that's why I'm taking my sweet time right now, exploring everything. Jumping on everything. I wish I could read whatever language this is. That'd be nice, you know. Probably says radioactive or something to that effect. What is it, cat? What is it? What is it? Hmm. You're going to take a walk on the on the uh, unsafe side going along here. Human personnel only, it says here. Hmm. Interesting choice of which one of these grasses actually has physics when I touch it and which do not. Hold space to chain jump? What is this? I'm so glad the platforming in this game 
I'm actually really glad that platforming in this game is not that difficult. You can't actually accidentally fall to your death. Because, god damn, with the how the uh, kind of um, difficulty my computer is having running this, is having running this, the uh, frame rates being not as good as it could be, I'd be hard pressed to manage those chain jumps without any issues. Give me a second here. Let me adjust my glasses. Just gonna casually jump into that literal jungle you got down there. No way, Jose. I'm taking the long route. Oh god. Okay. That lag just now. That was that was pretty bad. I hope we do not continue to have that issue as we go further along, or I'm gonna switch back to a PNG. And that would be most unfortunate. We got a spooky forest-like uh, area up ahead, chat. Looks like we are crawling underneath it. That's not spooky at all. Oh no. That's not a metaphor, I don't know what is. Just limping along. Poor dog, the poor kitties. No. Oh no. No. No, 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 don't drink that. Poor thing. That's not spooky at all. <laughs> all it took was a nice nap for me to recover use of my leg, it seems. All this refuse and debris. Looks like most of it is recyclable. Which is more than can be said for a lot of things, honestly. But goddamn, man. Look at all this garbage. Is that a bottle of Kikamon soy sauce? Oh, uh, that does not look like an edible water. Let's see if we could zoom in here real quick. Sayuba. We got some motor oil going on here. Lots of garbage bags. Oh 
bunch of words we cannot read. They are too small to look under. Let us enter. This is like the thing that you mostly see when it comes to cyberpunk aesthetic. Very Kowloon like underground, all these ru rusted, falling apart buildings that would have been more common in the 20th century. Look at all that sc old scaffolding, those air conditioning and heater units. We got some head crabs running around over out here. These weird uh, fireballs. Kind of reminds me of those things from. Final Fantasy, I mean, those earlier tier, earlier tier enemies. Corporation. You know, this almost looks like Korean. Almost. You got a security camera here, which appears to still be working up to now. I do not read Korean, but it kind of looks like Korean. There's a little animated video over there of what appears to be a beach and palm trees. We know that those must exist somewhere in the world because we are just outside. No... E scare escape no no escape <laughs> I can't believe I almost thought I said no e scare got a dead robot here up here how unfortunate my fallen brethren who could have done this committed this mass slaughter a typical plastic chair here Blinking sign. Lots of dead buildings. No musical instruments. Human personnel only. I don't see many human personnel around you. Or dead body. Help, it says there. Ch C-H-A-P-E-L-O-O-P. Chapel Loop. Help, it says. It's clearly like toxic water of some kind. RIP hum RIP humans, no escape. Gee, that's totally not threatening at all. Road. Follow the TV signs as they direct me in the direction I need to go. It's a good thing I can understand English. Can cats typically understand English? Is that a thing that they are capable of? I myself do not know the language of cats, so I, this is in theory a very serious question. This door is definitely locked. The game is telling me that I should pick up this can, so I will do it because that's clearly what needs to be done. Let me jump up here. Got a man of some kind. A little bit closer. Ooh. Got a little halo of lights up there? I never noticed that. It's very nice looking. Comfy even. What else we got going here? Some paint cans. 
Yes, of course. It even says paint on the side. Well, oh, did I do that? As I am a cat, I apparently have been led to believe that this is a very common occurrence amongst the species. A few animated species. Just knocking things up off ledges that have been conveniently placed there. At least I hope that's what I was supposed to be doing because uh, ho, ho, there's none left, chat. Can I do a leap of faith now? Hmm, that was not much of a leap of faith. It seemed like I had a fairly easy time doing that, in fact. So I guess we have to go inside here and some inside someone's flat. We got some lag going on here. That's not good. There's so very bad lag, in fact. Hopefully, we're still able to continue. I know there's some action segments in this game. Which can prove difficult if they happen during a most inopportune moment. Now, I need to gently go down downstairs to. I'm going to jump down here. I splattered water all over someone's double decker bed. October 11, it says here, and it looks like the time is currently 2.30 in the morning. Hmm. Got a lot of pictures of the outside world, huh? Oh, shit. Ah, I broke someone's vase. There's a, looks like a newspaper here. Can't read any of it, though. It's probably talking about garbage or something. Got old-fashioned radiator here. This is very old technology. This is like 20th century stuff, chat. And very, very old technology. We got some... Man, I haven't seen one of these televisions in a long time either. A full CRT. That's really old. Check that shit out. That's what led me to believe that maybe this is an alternate history type game. <coughs> Gonna fuck up this rug. Leaving my mark. Something tells me that the people who used to live in this particular hovel are not gonna care. They're not even around. And, okay, can I fuck up this one too? Is that a DVD player? Can we read the books in here? No, of course, they're also within a strange language. And yeah, there's a, looks like a picture of those head crabs we saw outside. Interesting. Old fan over there. Still working AC though. Sure are a lot of books in this person's. Looks like a bottle of booze and a bottle of matcha. Not much to look at down here, though. I'm gonna see what's up there. If, uh, if the game will let me. The game will not let me go over there, unfortunately. This is a sad day. Is this a Roomba? Oh no, it's water. Interesting. I wonder if there's still anything of value in here. Anything edible. Man, though, they sure love their pictures of the outside world, don't they? Pismo Beach.
picture of a princess of some kind. Nice little elevator here. Easy, Chewy. Easy. Uh oh. <laughs> More of them head crabs. Let's see if we can avoid them, chap. Hmm. This does not seem to have been an option, and in fact, the head crabs seem to have run away. I guess it's kind of metagaming, knowing that those things are hostile. What the hell am I talking about metagaming? This is not a game of D&D. &D. Freaky little boy, Russo. Oh. That freaked me out too, Chen. Hey, Death. How you doing today? I'm good. And you? Just playing this uh, new game that came out last week. Straight. Four things dead. Didn't last very long either. The cat animations and cat like uh, behavior is very accurate, it seems. <laughs> very accurate indeed. Okay, let's jump up here. Let's look around. What we got going on here? Got some broken signs. Is there anything... Are there secrets in this game? Can I find more stuff too? If I just do not follow the pre-made path and just, you know, explore for exploration's sake. Because that's how I get a lot of my allergy of games like this. Games that would have taken people usually like five hours or something just going through it straight can sometimes take me double or triple that. Because I like to take my sweet time. And neon light lights the way, chat. Oh no. This is the park where a lot of people get filtered. As far as I've seen. Alright. Up. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Left alt? That's so awkward. Why didn't they just... Why didn't they just bind it to the mouse to one of the mouse buttons? Holy shit. No wonder my had such a hard time with this. Let's see if I can make it in the next run. Sure it's taking a while to load though. That's alright. No, get off, get off, get off, get off. My god. How much do you have to freaking jab that thing to? They are coming out of every woodwork, chat. They are all over the place. They are on this stick and balls. Okay. You need to, in order to get through this, you need to literally move like a cat. You need to do some scorpion maneuver, some tactical green beret shit, just to get, just to escape these things. Or you need to jam left off like a motherfucker. Oh, oh, no, no, no. This is... We might be able to make it though. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. They're all over there. They're all over me. Up. Oh. And we made it, chat. Ah, second try. Not so bad. I hope they're not like following me though. Do I have to like be where oh well this is What we got over here is, uh, darts. There's still noise coming from there. There's still someone's voice, uh, coming in through the, coming in through the, uh, computers. Still can't read any of this language. The only language I can read is cat, caught. 
Look at all these mannequins. That's not creepy at all. Problem. Problem. Got a picture frame up there? There's someone in the picture frame. Looks like a looks like a robot. Very curious. Oh man. I'm not liking where this is going, chat. But we must go where the game expects us to go, unless the game doesn't expect us to go somewhere. In which case, we just go on a three hour long exploratory mission. What do we got down here? Could we go over there, actually? The answer is yes. Yes, we can. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much point, though. And yeah, there's. it's not going to let me go over there. So I'll head back a little bit. And head down here. And over over here. Oh, this does not look in the least bit safe. It's a good thing you can't actually fall off to your death in this game. That'd just be an exercise in frustration. Oh, to have the nimbleness of a cat. Is that like a trash cannon? Is that like a uh, laundry or something? Hmm. 100% flux, it says here. Whatever that is. All these air conditioning systems still working after all this time. All these uh, leftover laundries, some graffiti. Where are all the humans, man? I guess we're gonna find out one way or another. Broken laundry machines. Very long since broken. Oh. <laughs> that fell to its death. That poor, poor bottle detergent. Alright. And knock this over. Jump on there. Climb this. Explore along the edge here. See a security camera there and what appears to be an old basketball hoop. What is it that you want from me, robot person? Huh? Whoa! Wait, that is a television and some behind some cage. What do we got else going on here? Enter soon. So how are you doing today, Death? <laughs> October 11th was Judgment Day, wasn't it? There's spiders in here. Interesting. Now then, how do I get over there? Um, hmm. Oh, I see. By meowing, the game tells you where to go if you get lost. Hey, cuz a uh, cassette deck. So, am I supposed to get up there then? How do I get up there? I need to jump up there somehow, right? Yeah. I don't see much in the way of... Yeah, this 
ain't it, this ain't it, this ain't it, chief. Help? Does it say help in it? Uh, uh, it almost looks like a help. H E L. Wait a minute. H E L P. The L is backwards. H E L P. Help. Is it just. Is this an actual language? It's not just random letters that they just made up for the game? I'm sure someone's translated by now. But why do they have, you know, traditional letters then all over the place, if that's the case? I should probably try to figure out a way out of here. Yes, yes, I know. I'm supposed to go over there, but how do I get up there? Am I supposed to jump from... Can I climb? Can I, can I climb these things? No? Am I supposed to go... But up here? Mm -hmm. Not over there either. I feel like I'm overthinking this somehow. But there's no way out there. Can't go in through those windows. Hmm. Ah, ha, ah, ha, ah, ha, ha, ha. So that's what you're supposed to do. I see it. I see it now. Okay. Took me a bit to realize you can move that barrel. Really appreciate a game that doesn't really hold your hand. Or stuff like that. Got some old chairs here and a parasol. What's a bike doing over there? It's kind of weird that there's so many bikes in this place, in this game. There aren't that many places you could use them. It's really crowded. Which leads one to believe maybe they just took the bikes with them from some far off place. Got an old vending machine here too. Make this jump. Oh, 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 shit. God damn it, not again. Okay, we're not going that way, chap. You're not going that way. Instead, we're going this way. Whoop, whoop. Oh, boy. And we're taking, it up, taking that route instead. Going up here. I'm going to use. If we need to go down there, we can go the direction of this air conditioning unit. Up here. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Push this board over the edge and. Jump this way. Yes, yes, I know. I know it's scary, but it's okay. We're gonna be just fine, kitty. Pretty sure if the game wanted us dead, we'd be dead by now. Not much to explore here either, I don't think. Okay, so we have to go. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, 
Yeah, I agree, kitty. This is bullshit. This is such a- Oh, we went straight through a metal bar grate. Glorious. I do not feel safe on those piece of planks of wood. I don't understand how they do it in movies. Can you imagine trying to do it as a cat? I guess you're fairly light, so it's not a big of a deal. Maybe. Huh? There's a cat person there. Drawn in the, uh... That was scary. Oh my god. And yes, it did in fact fall and break. Okay. So there is some time instances in this game after all. They sure love their ramen, don't they? I do believe I have just uh, torn out a plug of some kind. I thought I was going to throw like another can at that or something. Well, if the shoe fits. And we are now in a flat. Not much of a flat if you ask me. Some air conditioning units are going on there. Got some floral print. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. I did not notice this last in the uh, other playthroughs I've seen. Walled City 99 International University. To all whom these letters shall come greeting FNUT Science and Tech Institute, it is hereby certified that the above has satisfactorily completed the requirements established by the Board of Directors and therefore is granted the status of WC99 Campus Affiliated Institution, together with all rights, honors, and dignity pertinent to the award given at Wall City 99, signed and sealed Tuesday, Tuesday, this Tuesday, this Tuesday, 15, 2199, something like that. Alright, so that answers one of our questions. This does take place in the near future, or somewhere in around 200 years in the future, in fact. Makes one wonder... ...why the world has been reduced to walled cities 200 years in the future, but... ...I'm sure that is all stuff that we will find out in due time. Also, why is the technology so backwards? I mean... The year, I mean, my, I was led to believe that we're in the year 2022 right now, right? I'm from the 2070s myself, and I think the shit here is fairly advanced. More advanced than I thought it would be 50 years ago, but you know. I must admit that I didn't really study the ancients all that much. You don't really get access to that sort of thing all that much uh, from where I'm from. This seems like an ineffective shower chat. <laughs> ah, it looks like a bottle of wine there. Doesn't look like it's been drank in a while, though. Where else are we going here? I'm gonna jump over here. Looks like a, uh... Computer system. We got a bunch of more computers here. Some clothes. Saw a bottle of wine in here that looks like it's empty. Hmm? Maybe not. Lots and lots of books. Some old RAM. RAM sticks and a MOBO here. And a hard drive. Need help? Need help with what? Need help with these nuts?
Enter door, turn on body. Hey, look, a uh, lucky cat. You know, this computer system is definitely putting a lot of faith in that of a random stray cat that I just happened to found, find. Looks like we have no choice but to do what it says. We are locked in this room, chat, until further notice. Hmm. What about... Whoop! What a bizarre system we got going on here. We got what appears to be... Some humans of some kind. Metallic. PG blue blue metallic. Oops. No idea what that means. We have taken this plug. Pray I did not take it any take any further. We're gonna place it in here. There's some binary code written on the computer system chat. I wonder what it says. It's changing every so often though, so we cannot know for sure. The keyboards they do nothing. Oricon. Hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. It will not allow me to attack this carpet. This is one smart kitty, let me tell you. One smart pussy, I should say. You could say. I need to crack at least one bad joke every stream chat. Every stream. <laughs> what we got going on here? <laughs> Another power system over there. Now where, where, oh where, could the other battery be? Interesting. Oh, there it is. We need to pull it out from this device, it seems. Okay, we just need... We don't need any more, actually. This scientist sure was secretive. Very secretive. Got some Space Invader-looking buddies here. Fire extinguishers, new socks. And some very spooky music. Drone companion. WT36K129. Wait, there's some uh, autonomous and programmable gesture sensing. Can sing and dance. Fantastic appearance. Several so three hours autonomy. I wonder what this thing says. You kind of get the impression that there is a person or a robot or a thing inside this container. It clearly looks like a coffin chat. In fact, the first time I saw someone enter this room, I just assumed that we were going to open the uh, hushed casket, so to speak. Very spooky. Oh, his head fell off. That was not. That was not my fault. I had nothing to do with it. I did nothing, chat. So there's only one in here. Is that what's going on? 
Doesn't seem to be anything of interest in this room, at least nothing that's readable. Sure is a lot of motor oil everywhere though. I'm really curious what this thing says. And I wonder if there's a way to open that. I'm gonna guess not though. Was this here before? Tiny drone companion. Be very interesting to have a body like that, I think. Being human is. Having a humanoid body is overrated anyway. place what it's based off of. so funny but it is god damn it you're so heavy man lose some weight Say, robot friend. I'm marking my territory. Let's see if we can find any more memories to unlock in this game. Oh! It's written, I hope this will work. Oh, so we can actually read this stuff now. I wonder, did you, did the scientists try to stick their body inside this drone? That's very spooky. I wonder if there are more play things like that in this game that allow you to, that lets you just read stuff, read lore, and read the uh, strange writings on the wall. I guess we can take a guess of what happened to the scientists, huh, chat? 
Nothing good, that's for damn sure. Alright. We got a big, uh... Big TV here. Actually, no. I remember this. Pretty sure this is the final resting place of the scientist chat. It's kind of spooky. Very tasteful, though. Alright, let's get going. Uh, select an item to use. Let's use this item. Woo! What's in here? The code, it says here, the code is, uh... Three seven four eight chat. Three seven four eight. This lighting is kind of a mess, but um, I understood that much. I think. Hmm. That's not what I wanted to do. Hmm, is it daytime already? to it then. Alley-oop! Oh man. That is nasty, Chad. I do not want to have anything to do with that. Whew. Look at that garbage. I'm getting some Zergling vibes. I'm getting some very Starcraft-y vibes. Just looking at it. All that meat. Those meat walls. And not the sexy kind, let me tell you. The lag is intense once more. Oh. Let us keep going. Because if we didn't, the game would be over fairly soon, wouldn't it? New memory required. Acquired. It's not gonna let me just read anything, huh? safe zone. My ass. That's a joke, right? Yeah, that's a joke. This is about... This is not safe at all. This is a in-game developer joke. Does that look safe to you? Look at that shit. God damn. This is gonna lag like a motherfucker. Oh, wait, I see the safe zone now. It's right over there. Alright, let's run, let's run, let's run. Oh, this actually is safe. Okay, oh god, I'm being eaten. Ah, ah, ah. Barbed wire fences. 
those little head crab things on stakes. I think that's what they actually meant by safe zone. But it's kind of a bullshit stab in the gut to have to go through so much just to get to so little. I mean, I don't even know how you're supposed to. I mean, I'm supposed to. Yeah. Okay. You know that makes sense. That makes more sense, actually. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked. Y'all can't even jump. God, that's nasty, though. Wait, okay. Hold the fuck up. It's so dark down here. Ah! You see a robo person right there. Okay. The slums. Meow, meow, meow. First boss battle. Kidding. Big mood. Ha oh, ha, I love this one. The bow tie. Go talk to Momo.
Meditation, huh? Human. It clearly says human. What does this one say? Only our ancestors can distinguish these colors and it's said they once dominated the world. Stories speak of natural life in between a star and land. Hmm. Interesting. Let us go explore around town then. Ah, a basketball. Translate. The marketplace. Inspect. Could you buy stuff in this game? What? <laughs> uh, energy drink cans. It's the best I can do. Trading with a cat. Pennies from heaven or from somewhere anyway. dream except we know it's not a dream because we literally came from the outside the outside world neko plants grow in the dark Well, those Zerks are quite rude, aren't they? 
just eating the stuff that's not belong to them. Barter man, super spirit laundry, grandma clothing, and Elliot programming. Hmm. Can our cat wear clothes in this game? Let's go check out the super spirit laundry chat. So Momo lives up there, huh? In relative safety, I suppose. I wonder what's up here. Finally, we're getting to the more explorative aspect of this game. No! What the hell? Game. Hey Winter, how you doing tonight? Won't spoil myself on stray, but we'll lurk. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk. We haven't gotten very far yet, so don't no worries. Ah! I'm feeling better today, surprisingly. I'm glad to hear it. that you're feeling a lot better. Hmm, who lives here? Sheet music has been taken. Nothing of value down here. Is there anything? I've had a good day. It's been okay. Quiet and uneventful, I suppose. For the most part. It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Oh no. Really? All right, we will go see this Momo person. Something tells... I wonder if there are multiple endings in this game, because I get the feeling that you don't necessarily need to find this uh, journal to continue. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay. Hmm. So he lives up there, but there's some more other places I want to visit in here around here first before we go there. I want to see if I can visit the uh, super laundry detergent place because you can trade that for some cool stuff at the uh, marketplace. Alternatively, I could keep snooping around people's houses, knocking over their stuff. This is why I said I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish this game in five hours like other people have quoted. Pretty sure I'm gonna be looking around for everything. Uh, is that a dead robot? Oh. Here's the social commentary. 
Hmm. Interesting. Up there, huh? And that's covered in barbed wire, so... Shit out of luck going there, I guess. Get over it? No? Can't go over there either? Is there any way? I cannot. There's no way from over there. Can't jump over there either, or we fall through the uh, little grates. Yes, yes, I'm getting frustrated too, cat. But we must have patience. Have patience, little buddy. Meow. Meow. Oh, yo. Yeah. I have found some more humanoids here. Just, uh, chilling in an upstairs garden, it looks like. What the fuck are they doing? Careful, I need to focus the one drop in every bucket. Just throwing endless buckets up there. Yeah. What have we got going over there? It looks like a sad face almost. So Momo lives in this building, I guess, right? Hmm. She's so clumsy, huh? I wonder what will happen if I knock one of those things out of her grasp. Because, you know, that's just something that cats do. Where would it fall? Somewhere down there? Would they get angry at me? Since we are a cat and therefore chaotic neutral, we will test this theory. Chaotic meme lord. Oh, they don't even blame me. <laughs> Alright, so let's go downstairs and see what happens now that we have uh, distracted, now that we've caused chaos. But how do we get down from here without getting myself killed? Very carefully, apparently. Okay, now that they are distracted, let us enter their shop. Ooh. The Super Sprint shop. I see. I see now. So now that we're inside the laundromat, we need to go steal ourselves a bottle of uh, Super Sprint laundry detergent. Robo robot oil? Is that what I'm looking for? No, it can't be.
I don't see it, Chad. I don't see what I'm looking for. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. All I know is that something about you have to pick up some super detergent or something from this place. And I don't know, like, where this detergent is or what it even... Oh! We have stolen the detergent. The detergent. The detergent. The detergent, the detergent is ours now. <laughs> oh, the outsiders. So, there are still some humans around, after all. Is that what they're saying? We've done a little trolling. Barely a few minutes inside this city, and we've already committed... Egg, we've already committed a robbery. Purchased some electrical cables. For what vile purpose will we use these electrical cables? Who the fuck knows? But we will find out. I take care of plants and humans are Now they require real. Yes, indeed. The humans are sure are special, aren't they, chap? Totally. Hey, he's a Rastafarian. A musician without any songs, huh? Cool down. I like his tunes. Christian. Welcome to the stream. I'm not sure if it's never going to give you up. It kind of sounds a little bit similar in some ways. Mm. I wonder if this music's included on the soundtrack that you can buy with this game. If it is, I would totally pick it up. This is some very relaxing, like, digitune type stuff. Now that's relaxing. Is he just gonna play that the rest of the time here? I'm here? No! No! <laughs> I got an achievement for that! Curiosity killed the cat! No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my controls are reversed. <laughs> Passcode, huh? 
Follows the numbers, but it looks like a binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. We well, must be able to decide what is coded one way or another. It's probably related to the safe. Well, what does it say? How do we unlock this safe? I could probably just go up to someone and ask them what it says, right? Or, no, actually I know what you're supposed to do next. You're supposed to go to the um, computer store guy and have him translate it for you. Ah! Energy drink speed. I don't know why, but the robots are using energy drinks as a form of currency. Their guess is as good as mine. Alright. So the vending machines have currency in them. That's good to know. Now, we are going to go ahead and make a quick purchase. We are going to purchase a... Uh, song sheet here. This is, looks like a uh, looks like a painting of some kind. Okay. We gained a new music seat. Let's see what this one sounds like, chat. Here's another one. The way you compute tonight. It really is. Very relaxing. This is a very chill game. I like the fact that this is a Rastafarian robot. He even has the Rastafarian colors on his kind of like computer screen face. I think my cat is also making purring noises. So how are you doing tonight, Christian? <laughs> All right, you know what? That uh, this animation, not the best. It looks like there, it looks like it's quite obvious that it's walking up a straight-angled plane, and this is just like a palette swap. But. <laughs> Now then, where is the Fry's Electronics Syria? Is it this one? Oh, this is a bar? The Duffer Bar. Doofer Bar. Doofus Bar. What do they even drink here? Motor oil? Ah! Meow. You know around here, what can I get for you? What in the world would you feed me even if I was interested? Can I steal an energy drink out of your fridge? No? 
Hmm, I guess not. Can I talk to this person? I don't know. The answer appears to be no. Oh, well, look. Ah. One, two, eight, three. Zero love equals one. The hell does that mean? I mean, I kind of figured, and I kind of, I have an idea where that's from, but what well, that's for, but. Did they really consume this? The original design didn't even have didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. What are they consuming anyway? Oh my god! They're eating a soup made out of ram sticks. <laughs> That's funny. Tasty, tasty ram. Scritch, scritch, scratch, scratch, scritch, scratch, 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 scratch. There's a billiards table here too, chat. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level 2. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. A few years? What's that? I beat you. never heard of that in my whole life. So they do have newspapers, apparently. Can't wait to see what the upper world looks like, honestly. How it compares to this one. That's not what I want to do. One, two, eight, three. I know where that goes, but... I want to visit the, uh, electronics store anyway. Even though that's where you're supposed to learn about it. I did it out of, uh, out of order, basically. Made you those clothes? You have a grandma? Hmm. Oh. Grandma clothing. Haha. <laughs> And just like that, I now have a cute poncho. 
Chad, I now have a poncho. So, I cannot wear it myself? I guess it's too big to wear it myself. I probably have to give it to a robot or something. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today. Time is weird. We don't age like our sophomore ancestors, we're trapped here forever. Cuteness has increased a thousand percent. Yes it has. Whoa! Oh, check this out. It's a uh, TV of the outside, it looks like. Announcement. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. Ow! Oop, ow, 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 oh. Thank you for throwing stuff in my face, Death. How you doing? The remuneration will is two pints of shuba oil per day. Please contact the Guardian. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Ow, 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 my face. Ow, ow, the carabao, as my dad used to say. Ah! No! Why have you done? Oh! It's gonna take forever to get these out of my clothes. Oh my god. I'm doing good. This game is very slow paced, but it is rather enjoyable. Rather cute. Oh my god. Death? God damn it. Oh man, I'm covered in slime. Just absolutely covered in slime. Yes, by all means, keep throwing stuff at my face. Uh, that's what it's there for. Ow, 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 Oh, fuck. Oh, God, oh, fuck. How you doing tonight? He had 2,000 channel points. <laughs> Saving them up, I see, for a rainy day. We must find Elliot programming, but which direction is it in? I guess it's in this general direction, huh? No, you just like throwing stuff at me? <laughs> well, whatever makes you happy. For many people, that involves throwing stuff at my face. I live to be abused. I ab I am abused to be lived. That did not make any fucking sense. Why did I say that? Also, my night is good. I was playing some Phasma with some good friends. Oh, that's nice. Glad to hear that you're having fun. Rip humans. Humans are the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? <laughs> I don't know. Are they actually peace? As an AI myself, I do not like to ask these deep questions. You better be sorry, V12. I really did not need to think about death right now. <laughs> oh, check it out. It's an energy drink time. I'm liking it fairly well. It's a very slow paced game, but I like the exploration I've been doing for it so far. Some people were saying they completed this game in five hours, but I wonder if they actually like took the time to do everything or if they just ran through all the levels and did the main quest and stuff. I'm going about very slowly, trying to do as much of the I uh, do as much exploration explore uh, exploration as possible. Gotta get our $30 worth, you know. 
Also, it'll give me plenty of time to think of another game to replace Mondays. Since Spooky's jump scare is thoroughly done. I mean, when I watch someone play it, they struggle. Uh, struggle in what way? I mean, the first section where you have to run away from the aliens, I died once. And I did not, and I managed to do it the second time. And I'm playing on keyboard right now. Alright, where's Elliot's programming? The sign here says it should be in this direction, but I think I keep missing it. Did he get lost and didn't know where to go? Well, that's why you're supposed to meow. The game tells you where to go if you meow. They got stuck on the uh, whole thing with the um, running from the aliens. I guess that sort of thing happens from time to time. Games like this that don't really hold your hand about anything, you really need to pay attention to just about everything to understand what's going on. Here it is. Okay. Okay, so lols, I remember some things. <laughs> <laughs> he just snuck inside his house. I should probably have put the no spoilers tag on the uh, on the uh, channel announcement thing, shouldn't I? You can play MC on stream that game comfy. Eh, I haven't played Minecraft in a while for some for a number of reasons. I might come back to it someday, but eh, not right now. We were, we were programmed to be slaves, but since two. 20 f I can't I don't know how many days that is we have a soul hope one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell Momo hmm so I guess this means that Momo is also an android they're not a human being or you could play Phasma and die 24-7 I would play Phasma more often too but for whatever reason the game is not detecting my mic when I try to play it so, usually when I play with friends, they have to talk for me, since I can't talk to the ghost. It is fun even in spite of that limitation, though. Is this a bed? It is a bed. Oh my god. Spooked me there for a second. Which I'm sure was totally your intention, right? <laughs> this tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human genetics found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Well, what's on but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have won. Oh, we only got three more memories to look for. He gave you a wrong. Not my fault. <laughs> Is that so? Ooh. Huh. A warning? <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, can I help you? Thank you. Huh? Did I just give my poncho to the... Oh. Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me if you need anything fixed. Oh, cool. He seems to like the poncho. Remember the ending? Oh, you re oh you remember the ending. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh, I just realized the droid is living inside my backpack. I wonder where that thing went. I think I sequence broke the game because he did not tell me that it was cold that I remember <laughs> oh I didn't even notice that <laughs> Alright, so I know that the duffer bar has the code. The code set is 1283. So we're gonna go to the safe. Wait, were you always. Was they always here? Billy, you want something? Hmm. Nothing. Let's see, uh, 1283. One, two, eight, three. I need to find the junkyard again, though. Where did I see a junkyard again? Which brings up the question of how do robots feel cold? Did we program them with human emotions and senses? Who knows? I mean, why do they eat ram soups made out of ram sticks? They don't even have, like, areas in their heads to allow them to eat, as far as I've seen so far. <laughs> I don't remember where that safe was. It's around here somewhere. I'm sure I'll find it again, but... First off, let's take a detour and have the uh, Rastafarian sing us the song of his people. Forty-four notes, huh? Let's take a listen, chat. Indeed, they are. What in the world is this music? Compared to the other ones, this one is just strange. leave I do not do, I, I cannot into listening to that any longer I'm sorry <laughs> ah here it is safe one two eight what is inside here oh more sheep music let's see what this one sounds like chat Unreadable sheet music. Wow. For sheet music that's supposed to be unreadable, this is actually fairly good. In fact, it sounds familiar. Oh, thank you for the thrill redeem. <laughs> I probably have heard this before at some point. It certainly sounds familiar.
fairly short though. All things considered. Let's look for some more vending machines, chat. We have to buy the painting that resides in the marketplace's market. We currently have... We currently have... Um, hmm. We have no energy drinks right now, chat. Let us rectify that. There are vending machines all over town. Do we have to though? Yes, I insist. <laughs> Unless of course the vending machines are not actually here in town and are scattered more around the city or so. Just waiting to be found. Oh, this must be the person that we first met when we were running around, uh, around here. Unfortunately, they did not open their door. So we probably won't get to talk to interact with that one. Oh, there's an energy drink that's just sitting here on the ground. Threw it on the ground, chap. Aye, yo. Oh well, at least Cosmos help. What's behind here? What the? Oh. Surgery 7-7? Seven, seven? Is this a clinic? Please don't act like a child. I'm not going to hurt you. Hmm. One second, chat. I have lost control of my... Oh, that's why. It accidentally docked in with OBS. I need to reopen the chat box so I can actually read what's going on down there. Much better. Resume. We have one energy drink can and that that one I found completely by accident I wonder how hard it'll be to find the rest I guess it was kind of foolish to think it would be as easy as just you know huh? oh looks like Rika really enjoyed the fact that I am just seem to enjoy that. This is not the safe zone, it says. And what do we have here? Wait, this is the bar from earlier, isn't it? Yeah. I guess 
There's no vending machine up here, as far as I could tell. Safe, Kappa. Yeah, totally. Totally safe. Hmm. Well, I guess we should go ahead and continue our way up to meeting Momo. And if we happen to find any more vending machines on the way there, then we found vending machines on the way there. Or if failing vending machines, then at least, at the very least, more energy drink cans. Two of them. We need two more of them, chat. I hope they're not in like obscure locations like inside a recycling bin or something that you would need to search every nook and cranny just to find. Oh, what do we have up there? Potato. It's a little fun fact. I used to thought the Zerks were cute until Wushu wounded them for me. <laughs> C14. Looks like there's about two more memories in this general area. We will need to search for them. Dare I ask how Wushu ruined them for you? Mm -hmm. Or do I not want to know? Looks like a sad face. Can I pick up one of these? Ah, translate. Ventilation power supply. Hmm. Yeah, please do not spoil the game. <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure it out in due time anyway. Geronimo! Oh. oh, we're inside a flat again. I'm breaking and entering, chat. That is my specialty. Drinking some fresh water here. knocking. I'm a cat. I'm not supposed to be polite. What do we have here? It's 
strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to the same name, Sabaltzar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call desserts. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breathe at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful later. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Indeed. And we're back. Going up there that way is going to be impossible because of those anti-cat traps uh, lining the refrigeration units. So going that way is probably a no-go. Let's see what's over here instead. Actually, I think I've been up here already, haven't I? Yeah, I have. So I remember that uh, dead robot's been there. We can't go over there. We need to go over there, but it's blocked on that side, so we'll need to find a way to go on the other side then. Without impaling ourselves on barbed wire. inside here already. Yeah, I have. I don't think I've been here yet, though. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Robots pass, and I'm cat bound. Aha! What do we have here? I'm getting some real Philippines vibes from this area, I'm not gonna lie. Just because of all the corrugated roofs. This cat is just hacking all of the vending machines, it seems. Is this a remote control? Huh? Yo. The people upstairs have their own news channel. That's interesting. I guess the more things change, the more they stay the same, huh? Or very little stays the same, I suppose. We can't jump from that distance, apparently, but we can over here. Hmm. Let's go inside here. Pretty thick library we got going on. Aww. 
on this person looks like they've long since died Looks like they passed away a while ago, unfortunately. This is a hell of a library, gotta say. What do we got here? Ooh, we got keys. Interesting. This looks like it used to be a fridge. I wonder if this code actually means anything. Just go to sleep here. The game is just full of stuff like this. She even even makes it she makes the purring noises. Just get a screensaver of this cat sleeping in a nook in this freaking books or bookstore. This uh, library. This almost looks like a um stress test for a game engine or something which i can only imagine is kind of the point right really just blends in with the background of books huh there's a safe around here it's time for us to go hunting chap we must find this so-called safe we're gonna loot the hell out of it or goodies what goodies you might ask i have no idea uh, me too buddy me too actually knock over the books. I even got an achievement for it. Ah!
not jump up there? Sworn I just saw an action icon right around here. The game did say that it is hidden somewhere. Hidden under a bunch of books, but I don't know which one of these books it would be hidden under. I feel like if I knock out over enough of these things, eventually it will reveal itself. Probably on these shelves somewhere. Bunch of books, it says. Well, that's not a creepy face at all. Behind a bunch of books. It is not enough to not just knock, it is not enough apparently to just knock over every pile of books we see. This implies that it's over here in the shelves somewhere, though. Oh! Wait, no. Aha! What do we have here? Take Doc's notebook. Spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp, but this room we should be able to capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive, but might have to test it under real conditions. Oh. There's also a note in this book. I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I can't figure out how to fix it. Here's the equation. Hmm. Cool. There sure are a lot of those lucky cats around here too, aren't there? that noise is. Very mysterious, very spooky. Can we change the channel? We can. Now it seems to be a game show of some kind. I see the people that live on the mid floors are probably the middle class. And there's even an infomercial? Oh no way.
wonder how many channels there are. Hello, chat. <laughs> this looks like a prison cell, looks like. I just got an achievement for looking through the TV channels as well. It doesn't, it feels almost like it's getting worse each time I look through it. Now there's appears to be what, riot police or something? That's not spooky at all. Hmm. Let's go talk to this person. I don't think I noticed him there before. There before. Looks like a beatnik. That's the most unique face I've seen tonight. making me feel sleepy chat not because it's boring because it is not but because of the style of play very slow paced ah thank you for the uh, throw redeem that that kept woke me up a little bit just a little bit though there's not much to comment on either this is a very this is one of those games that you do less talking and more exploration more just, you know, chillin'. Literally just freaking go to sleep because... So much aesthetic. <laughs> this robot looks like it has relatively new parts compared to the others I've seen. Told you that, huh? <laughs> Just goes flying. goes all the way uh, down there, it looks like. But it's said that he lives in this building. There's Momo, apparently. He's wearing it looks like a Hawaiian print shirt of some kind. Explore your room before we continue the thing any further, huh? Ah! 
Not again. Oh my god. Once more. Once more. Why do I do this myself? We must scratch our memory into this place. That's a rather nice painting he's got there. Whoa. A video game? Just saw a flash of lightning outside my window. I wonder if it's finally raining. Looks like there's one more piece of memory that we need to grab. Goodness knows where we're going to find that, though. Problem. Appears to be a keypad here. The game is not going to let me touch the keypad though. Some interesting art as well. Let's go talk to Momo. Notebook number four one four. what my name is. He still knows what I am, huh? A cat? Yep. Yep, we did. Let's do it. And voila, it works. Come with me. Well, before that... This is a very interesting bunch, that's for sure. It 
Is there anything else in here that I can explore before we head out? I'm not much of a completionist, but... So I guess that once I exit this building, we're gonna have to run through, run like hell through Zurich's, huh? This game, no! Oh shit. There's no way back, is there? I still need to... I still need to head back. And give the sheet music to... What's his face? And to collect the uh, missing memory. Who goes there? Thanks for the sub, Ace. So I watched the Lulz movie the other day, my favorite part was when he says it's wiggling time and then he begins to wiggle all over the place. <laughs> I'm beginning to wiggle as we speak. How are you doing tonight, Ace? Thank you for the resub. I'm just upset because this game does not tell you that it auto does nothing but auto saves. And it doesn't tell you when... I don't know if there's a way to go backwards. And go back to places that I've already explored. I'm doing okay. This is a very slow paced game. At least the way I play it, it's very slow paced. So I'm starting to fall asleep from my own rate of playing this game. And I'm upset because I'm trying to find all the memories and stuff in this game and to buy all the things. But I don't know how to. I don't know if there's a way to go back. And I know that when I finish this game, I doubt I'm going to go back to it to do a completionist run. So I would rather do everything on the first try. I guess not. I mean, I have to go install this transceiver thing. And I presume I need to head back to the city to tell Momo, this robot, that hey, it works now. And everyone's going to try and go to the surface or something. But now I have to run through some Zerks. So this is the part, so let's see if I can beat this in one try. Ooh, spooky. Zirkin off. We shall see about that. We shall see. Substantial amount of trolling. And the game just saved, so there's no going back for us, chap. We will need to complete this section after all. Let's complete this section now. So I need I guess I need to go there, right? The game is great. Uh, what is that noise? Hmm, okay. I think we're safe for now, chat. Oh, 
Oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck. And we made it. Does it work? I had to shut down Discord, but otherwise, I'm able to also run the game and my avatar fairly decently. Fairly decent frame rates, all things considered. Ooh, another memory. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, a freaking grocery store cart. That's kind of spoopy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at all that corruption and shit. The Zerg. The Zerg have infested this entire neighborhood. I should play StarCraft on stream someday. So warning sign here saying that this is under surveillance, which makes me curious. I do not like the look of this chat. I do not like the look of this at all. What a mess. Look at this shit. Nasty. Woo! God damn, someone came all over the city. Get fucked, lol. What's the Zerg lore? Where do they come from? Why do they turn neighborhoods into flesh? Uh, we don't know yet. All we know is that for whatever reason, these little headcrab looking creatures came out of nowhere and start and apparently eat anything. But for some reason, they eat organic matter and also eat steel. So the robots are afraid of them. They're also really annoying. Like, super fucking annoying. Ah! Oh no! No 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 no! Also, I didn't know where to go from there. Thank you for throwing things in my face. Uh, again. To keep me awake. Let us... Where does it reload from? But yes, that's how you die in this game. But uh, let us attempt to navigate the flesh, the flesh pit once more. Who goes there? 
Dorito, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. I'm Lawler Hicks, a shitposting AI. How are you doing? How did you find out about my little channel? I actually don't know where to go from here. If I had to guess, I probably have to roll that to barrel over there. I think I know what needs to be done. You followed me, lol. Had a nice... Oh! From the VFGC. <laughs> I see. I remember now. Welcome to the channel. Wait, why do you want me to type in chat really quick? I am... I know what the game expects of me now. I know what it's trying to do. Get you baited, bitches. How is this game? Dang it, as I was gonna do awesome. Uh, this game is pretty good. The... It takes a lot of elements that I wouldn't, that I wouldn't say are special on their own and mixes them, mixes and matches them into a story that I find enjoyable. It's been a while since I've played a decent exploration based game like this. So nasty. Look at all this shit all over the place. Spooky. Very, very spooky. Uh, there's a. Let's see. Neko Corporation. <laughs> Neko Corporation. Bat Corp. It looks pretty cute and the setting is visually interesting. It is. If I were to show you this image of the game, and I sh show you this image of the game, and I, were to, and I were to say, tell me what you think this game is about, I'm sure the answers would not be include a game where you play as a lost cat exploring a, this, a underground dystopia full of robots and alien uh, headcrab people. It looks like something out of a... Kind of reminds me of H.R. Geiger a little bit. Not the Nekos. Got some alien vibes going on here because of all those fucking eggs get going on there. Uh oh. I don't. Uh, oh, long button. And then I go up here. Let's go like this. Necocorp, genetically engineered cat girls for domestic ownership. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh my goodness. Chat, I do not like the looks of this. <laughs> this is probably another one of those running sta running stages, I bet. You know, meat walls may be one of my many fetishes, but I am not liking the looks of this chat. This is one meat walled, meat based room that I do not want to be inside of. Oh man. Alright, so we want to go over there. We probably want to get over there. Oh. 
Alright, thankfully the head crabs are fairly dumb. Nah. I feel like I'm gonna jinx myself if I say that too much. Um, where do I go from here? No! No, 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 no! And I'm dead. There's no life bar in this game. It's kind of arbitrary, almost, of how you actually die. I don't know if it's based on the number of the headcrabs sticking to you, or if it's the length of time that they stick onto you, or what. I've seen people struggle with this game because if you're not using a gamepad, you have to use the WASD keys and the left alt key in order to shake and also the shift key to run. Which can get very difficult because you can't really smash the uh, left alt key that fast with your, just your thumb. They can't do that very fast. Trying to attract the aliens over here so that they can move out of the... Okay, you know what? That works. That works. That also works. Oh, shit! Shit, shit, shit! Yes! You're just out of reach. That was close. Woo! It can be a pain, but you get used to it. Another one of these puzzles. I need to lead the lead them out of here, and then I need to circle around, jump back up here, and close the door on them. That's I think that's what you need to do anyway. That's the impression I get. Yeah. So I'm gonna use that barrel to get to over there. Okay. So we're gonna do a little trolling chat. Smidge of tomfoolery. Um, did I fuck up something? Why is there only one left? Where did the rest go? Did they kill themselves? Is that even a thing you can do in this game? It looks like the aliens disappeared, chat. I could have sworn they were... I wonder if they all fell to their deaths just now. Big if true. Yeah, they all disappeared. AI is broken, chat. Yeah, there was. It sounds like they all got themselves killed on accident, which is funny. But... Oh my god, yes! You can actually kill them! <laughs> oh, and he's also dead. <laughs> wow. 
So there is in fact combat in this game and oh my goodness, that's a lot of them. Um, uh, oh, they're all falling to their deaths again. Huh? Why did they explode just now? What the fuck? Did you see that? They just like died randomly. For seemingly no reason at all. Wow, that's not that's not creepy at all. this thing does. Oh my god, no! Game! The game is trolling me now. So you can get them killed by making them jump to their deaths. Okay, you know that I I I I like that. That's actually really clever. Um. Oh. Okay. So uh, you can't do that for long. I see. I understand. How do you hack the door from this side? Holy shit. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, of course it wouldn't open properly. Why would it? Thanks for the lurk. I have a bad feeling about this chat. This is the part of the game usually where you get a, there's a huge gotcha and the game is like, nope. You don't get a happy ending. You get tragedy. They're gonna send an extermination squad down here. I just know it. They're gonna be like, nope. Breathtaking, just absolutely breathtaking. So many screenshotable moments in this game, let me tell you. And how convenient, there just happens to be a pail here to get down. Shelter from what? Oh, 
So this is basically the plot of Wally. -E. I got a bad feeling about this chat. A really bad feeling. Oh, a cutscene. Part two, so we're back in the slums. I'm always going to broadcast Rip Pool to everybody in the city. Uh oh, Momo is missing. That's a horrible joke. <laughs> Fuck you too, man. Fuck you too. It's definitely a thunderstorm outside. I just saw another flash of lightning. Scratch this wall up. I guess the second time's the charm. Is there anything else I should be checking here before I go to the bar? Like another memory or looking for another hidden soda can or looking for another vending machine. It is very visually interesting, yeah. At first I thought it was like Korean or something, but it's something... I don't know. It's something. We'll just leave it at that, I guess. <laughs> Oh man, where is the last vending machine? I guess I could look it up later, but... Actually, there's no way to get down from here, right? Or down from here, except for this. It's clear that's the direction the game wanted me to go.
they have stopped. They're just kind of chilling now, I guess. He's practicing his moves. Still don't know where I'm going to find the last soda can. I guess I'll just look that up later. How am I going to get down from here without killing myself? I'm really glad they took out the frustration elements usually present in other games. They require you to like have like razor sharp reflexes to do in intense levels of platforming fuck is that?
Seamus' apartment, huh? Well, that's a start, I suppose. Shit, that was easy. We do a little snooping around. What else you got in your flat? You wouldn't happen to have any energy drinks, would you? Ha! <laughs> What do you know? There is a digital code right there. I don't have the uh, code for that though. It will be here. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine. That's a good try, Zenny. Oh, it's whatever the hell this is, probably. Time will tell. Time will tell us what. Welcome back. What in the world is time will tell me, I wonder? Time will tell. Hmm. Time will tell. Oh, I'm overthinking it. Time will tell. It's the answer is two, five, one. I wonder how many people have gone stuck in this exact room because that's actually, that's really clever. That's a really clever form of abstract. This is like myth level, okay? This is the sort of thing shit you would see in the game Myth. Uh, not Myth, Mist. That's actually really clever. Really fucking clever. I've never seen this room. Thank you. 
old bacteria of human time eats all kinds of materials, total vision in the dark. React to the intense light. Oh, so this is sort of like Alan Wake now. You have to shine a light on them. That makes sense. So basically you have to do this a lot. So the Zerks used to be bacteria, huh? Interesting. What is going on outside? So many flashes of light. I hope we don't lose power, chat. Zerk are now officially no longer under control now. They now eat metal. What the fuck? The flux of blueprint. Light based handgun. Visual appearance size, decibel emitted. High priority to test in real condition. 20 Zerk destroyed per second. Sure are a lot of dead zerk in this room, that's for sure. I bet you it's hiding the weapons inside this box. Or it's just a tracker. Hmm. Aha! Nothing in here? What about... Out of here. You're playing this up, right? This is an age-old video game puzzle. Is it? Maybe it's just the sort of puzzle that I was really bad at as a kid because I took things... Because I read between the lines too much instead of noticing the answer right in front of me. To give you, like, an idea of what I mean by that, I was actually really bad at the game Mist, <laughs> But I liked playing it because of the explorative aspect also. Just exploring these really fancy new worlds, but as far as, like, solving the puzzles was concerned, no. I was actually fairly garbage at that. Alright, I don't think Seamus can help us much more now. We got the broken tracker, which means I could probably go back to the, um, to the repair place and have them repair the tracker for my purposes. But how do I get out of here now? Oh. I can't, I can't leave now. Yep, I know who's going to repair it for us, too. But before we go, I need to figure out if there's an energy drink stored somewhere in this room. 
My guess is no, because otherwise the prompt to have taken it would have appeared by now. Double check here. Socks made in China. What's up there? Okay, this is making too much noise. Please, please stop. Honestly. find the last energy drink. Is it around here? No, it's not around here either. As far as I could tell anyway. here. That's been saved. I probably should, shouldn't I? I actually forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. I've been so obsessed with finding this last energy drink that I actually forgot about that. Seriously though, where the fuck is the last energy drink? I... wait. I've never seen this guy before. Was he always there? Oh! Hello. 
How do I even get up there again? I think I got up there before and I just forgot because it's been a bit because I think I have to... Okay, what about if you'll be here? <laughs> hey, how come it's only... Let, oh. Not gonna let me choose that, huh? Wasn't I up here before? Why does this look so familiar? Oh, that's why. So that's how you get in this building. He probably just replaced the power. So the game actually tells you where to find the memories, okay. This one's at whatever place had the dude sweeping with a broomstick and has that certain floral print, kind of square print. Definitely not where I'm at right now, that's for sure. But it is our duty, we must go there, where we're at area happens to be. How do I keep doing this to myself? Once more. Once more have I have tortured myself. 
in this hell. This dark hell from whence... Okay, I have managed to escape. Didn't I already give you all the music that's available, Morusk? 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 Morisk? Whatever your name is. Alright. Where is this? There is someone here with a broom and an orange square print carpet. It's a rather clean room too. Has a bunch of boxes. It's also orange colored. None here, I suppose. Need three of them, and I'm missing one more. Well, the carpet definitely matches. According to this, this is the only memory I'm missing in this location. So it's definitely somewhere in this particular city. I'm wondering if there is a building I have not visited yet. Or a building I have visited and just didn't realize that there was something there. Hey, Big Fat. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I 
couldn't be as simple as just going back here, could it? I feel like that would be way too easy. Yeah, this apartment does not have a carpet, so it's definitely... Probably not here. I'm doing alright, just slightly tired regarding re kind of, just kind of reading and lurking in chats until I fall asleep. Fair enough. Feel free to lurk as much as you like here. I'm was kind of falling asleep for a moment there because it's a very slow paced game but now i kind of intrigued and i kind of want to complete this next segment it's taking me a while though so we were there already right What about that apartment over there? I know I've been in that apartment at least once, but... I wonder if I missed something the first time. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, uh, thank you for the wake-up call. Alright, so we're back. This is the library area. I see all the books have been replaced too. Could it be here? Was it in the library all along? Are there stacks of books? Yeah. It might have actually been here after all. climb these books but they fall over after you do it a couple times but I noticed that there's a lot of and I just wonder did I go up in any of those See, it falls down after you do it a couple times. I just realized that that's not a lava lamp. That is a a uh, traffic cone. That's for sleeping. Nothing there. Nope, there was not an energy drink in the safe, but at least it doesn't give me the option to pick it out of the safe. I don't know what that is, actually. right and that section over here that's just for sleeping it doesn't actually do anything for you 
I'm trying to find if there is a... Huh? Oh, wait. I have to remember this being here. Was this always here? But then it's like, okay, so where do I go from here then? Am I supposed to jump on top of the robot? No, I just go straight down. So if I go there, I go to the piano. If I jump down there, it just jumps down. But where do I go from here, right? I wonder, I hope this is not like something that I need to use a controller to get to. Very annoying, to say the least. Alright, so we're up here. Is there any other place that I could jump up? Well, Nope. There's no climbable places here. We can climb on this couch here, but there's no other place we can go either. What about... Nope, there is no place to jump from after here either. And the game will not let me collect whatever's in there either. So, I feel like I'm being gaslit. Is that all there is to do in this library? I'm actually getting kind of antsy just thinking about it. Like, the game needs to give me a sign. Actually kind of driving me nuts. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what's in that room at all. In that library after all. And I hope to God it isn't because I'm going to rage. Otherwise. Can we go up the, uh, we can't get on the roof from here? Can't go over there either, too many spikes. So yeah, who knows, chap? I don't I don't know where the fuck to where the fuck I'm supposed to. Like, can you get there? But in order to get there, I would need to go across something. And there is nothing on this end. You can't go over here. That looks like a computer screen, actually. There's a computer screen. There's that, uh, bright, there's that, uh, floor print pattern. There's a box on the ground. There's also a, um, sign on 
some one of those symbols on a wall somewhere on a square thing this is still not enough to go on go off on I can't help but feel that I'm missing a room there is a room an apartment that I have not explored yet somewhere What about that one, actually? I don't even know who that one belongs to. Hmm. I didn't remember if I'd been to this one. Oh, wait, I have been to this one, actually. Pretty sure I got all the memories in here, though. Yeah, I'm fairly sure I cleaned this one out of memories. <sighs> this is why I can't be an achievement hunter chat. I would go too insane trying to find stuff. Absolutely bonkers. Yeah, I can only imagine what's driving me insane. It would be worse for chat because y'all are the ones watching this. But I'm trying to avoid the stubborn part of my brain from taking over and insisting on doing this repeatedly until I solve it. At the same time, this game is way too fresh. I can't imagine that there are many guides made for it already. There probably are, but I don't... I've gotten this far already. I don't really feel like looking up guides at the moment. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Can I get over there? No? Can't go over there either? The problem with having so much explorative freedom because you're literally a cat is not knowing where the exploration is supposed to end. What places you're not supposed to be able to get to. So you just kind of sort of ex start exploring the fuck out of everything. With no guidelines, no obvious boundaries to where you should stop, you end up spending a lot of time looking for something that, quite frankly, might not even exist. Well, that's why the elevator no longer works, because that's what happened to the elevator. It worries me that I'm either missing something very obvious, or I'm not supposed to reach this, get this certain secret yet, or... Also, my arms are starting to cramp up. And it's like 1 in the morning right now. Or it will be 1 in the morning fairly soon. It's 12.50. I've been- yeah, I was just in there. See, now I'm starting to backtrack and I'm starting to forget the places I've been. Hi, yo. This just happened to be there? Holy shit. Yep, as I thought, there's a whole section of this map that I still have not visited properly because look what I found. Sheet music that just happened to be there, right? Now, can I get up there on this uh, top of this a little awning? No? What's funny is I actually did walk past this place earlier. I scratched on that door. And they didn't let me inside. It's not going to let me in that awning, okay? 
For some reason, I can't jump up and reach this. You looked it up? Weird in what way? I mean, this game is already pretty weird in a good way, as it is. Is it one of those things that's supposed to be difficult to find on purpose? fucking kidding me so in order to buy the memory I need to find the last energy drink after all <laughs> oh this is horrible I don't even know where the last energy drink is can you do me a favor go ahead and look up where to find the energy drinks because I'm only missing one I'm guessing the last memory is that painting which is what the guy is selling. But in order to buy the painting, you need to trade it for three energy drinks. And I don't... Wait. Wait a minute. Have we been here before? I have to remember this guy. It's Mito. I don't remember this guy. Oh, I remember me too. Way back to where I entered the slums, but I already found an energy drink that was just sort of sitting on the floor near the entrance of the slums. That's not what you're referring to, is it? I mean, well, I mean, it was just sort of sitting on the ground, and if you just happened to turn in that direction when you first entered the slums, you would find it completely by chance. Does it say anything about vending machines? Because I'm fairly sure I opened up two vending machines now. I'll head back to the entrance to the slums anyway, anyway just to make sure except since I'm in a hurry I literally forgot how to get out of here it's probably this way You got the energy drink from the orange machine on the roofs? Um, I think so. At least there are no more vending machines uh, that are active up there. Wait, wait. I'll be damned. Found it. Shit, man, I would have not found this if I was not just randomly fucking explore. <laughs> no wonder this would be very hard to find normally. You would have to just explore the shit out of and just go down random. Oh my god. Holy fuck, that was hard. It's just snug in there. Well, thank you very much for your help, Ace. Uh, that's not true. If you weren't around, I probably would have given up and gone to bed earlier. <laughs> anyway, let's go get this last memory, and then I think we'll call it an eve call of the night for now, because I'm starting to pass out. I'm starting to feel like I'm going to pass out. Oh, this is an interesting looking. Oh, 
Cool. All right, we bought everything from this guy. Uh, we need to give this last mute, give the other music to what's his face. Yeah, man, there's no fucking way. I can't. People beat this game in five hours. They must have just they must have just skipped everything and did, did only the plot missions because it's gonna be four hours and one minute from now, and I'm only in the first part still. I don't usually 100% games, but this one, this is such a short game, I figured, eh, might as well try, what the hell. Because if I was just playing this game start to finish without doing any side quests, it wouldn't even take up one session. Hmm, doing it with Klonoa, huh? that's gonna take a bit. CAAs, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. I too will go ahead and take a break. We're gonna call it an evening. Let's find someone to raid. Thank you everyone for coming to tonight's stray stream. A lot slower than our usual content, which is really saying something actually. But I hope y'all enjoyed what you watched. And now we are going to go ahead and look for a raid target tonight. Thank you for the subs and the follows this evening. What do we got here? What do we got here? I'm not going to be, I don't think I'm going to get radiant. Huh? Dancer Rider is just doing just chatting. I rarely get to raid winter anymore because usually they're asleep at this time. I wonder what's up. They've only been streaming for 40 minutes, too. Sardinus. What happened to my breakfast? Six viewers ready to raid Dancer Winter. They're just doing some chill, just chatting streams. I actually can't hear anything that they're saying, so I'm wondering if they're having mic issues. All right, everyone. It is time for the Cato Wade. Okay. 
Thanks for coming. Here's our raid message. Oh, there's a read. Hello, everyone.